In this movie, we're going to take a look at some ways to bring reference imagery directly into Shadowbox so that we can start a basic model. I'm going to start with a uh, Shadowbox tool, and the first thing I want to do is essentially find the exact center line of the front view. So I have symmetry on, and I'm just painting that line directly onto the shadow box uh, using a brush with lazy mouse set to a high radius. Now I can use the new Morph UV feature to unwrap shadow box and make it into a flat plane. And I can see each of the sides of shadow box flattened. And I've extended the line down to, uh, through the top view, so I can make sure that my images are lined up. Going into Lightbox, I can find my T-Rex reference images that I've drawn out in Photoshop uh, by simply filtering the uh, files using the search feature to filter all the files to start with T-Rex. In Lightbox, I can then double click on each of the images and it will load the images in Spotlight. And I'm using Spotlight now to position the images on top of my flattened shadow box. And I'm just taking the top view there, lining it up. And that center line that I've drawn on Shadowbox helps me position each of the images. Once I have them positioned, I can simply use the standard brush with RGB only to draw out the images. And you can see I've just basically transferred the images onto Shadowbox. Using Morph UV, I can fold Shadowbox back into the cubicle shape and I'm ready to actually start drawing out my uh, shape. And the first thing I'd like to do is just save my Shadowbox. Uh, as a tool so I can use it in the future. And it will be saved with the T-Rex images uh, drawn on there. So I'm going to use a masking pen in lasso mode to simply draw out a rough shape in the front view. So I'm holding the control key to pull up the options for the mask pen. I'm choosing the lasso stroke type. Once I have the basic shape, I'll turn transparency on so I can see through the mesh that Shadowbox creates so that I can continue to work with my reference imagery. And now I'm just cleaning up the edges here with the masking pen. Once I have the basic shape, I'll switch over to a side view and draw out the shape from the side using the reference imagery. And the idea here is to essentially create a very basic shape that I can start to work with with my sculpting brushes. For that reason, I keep the resolution of Shadowbox fairly low. I keep, I, this one I have it uh, set to 256. And once I have the outline, I can hold the Alt and Control button while I draw out the lasso mask to actually cut holes through the uh, mesh that Shadowbox creates to create the holes in the T-Rex skull. And switch to the top view and and trace the uh, top view reference imaging to complete the overall shape of this car. Now that I have the basic top of the skull completed, I'm going to work on the jaw. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually duplicate my shadow box so that now I have a second shadow box that I can use for the jaw. So on the first shadow box, I'm actually turning the shadow box button off and then now I can see my, the top of my skull, which I can use as additional reference, and I'm ready to start working on the jaw. And the same thing here, just using the uh, masking pen in lasso mode to draw out the shape of the jaw from the front view. And then switching over to the side. Finally, then working on the jaw from the top view. Now I have my basic uh, T-Rex skull shape, which I can start to shape using the sculpting brushes. If you'd like to create a template that you can use in Photoshop or Painter to create your own reference images, simply go to the texture sub-palette of the tool palette and press on the New from Poly Paint button. Once you do this, just clone the texture and it will appear in the texture flyout library. You can use the export button to export it in uh, Photoshop format or TIFF or bitmap or whatever. So then you can bring it into a paint program. In this case I have Painter here and I'm just positioning some reference images for the T-Rex for the full body. So 
So these are my airplane references and export them as TIFF or Bitmap or Photoshop and uh, And then open the texture flyout library, import the image, and then set it as your texture map for the shadow box tool. And then you have your own custom reference there that you can use uh, to create your new matches. And here are some of the steps that uh, ZBrush artist Dave Wolf went through when he created his T-Rex model from the profile brought into Shadowbox. Uh, it's a great way to start uh, a mesh 